and a very nice welcome back. Chilled down a bit, just a bit, and I do have to do this now. I don't know why I didn't just do that off screen so you don't have to sit through this with me. Um, yeah, let me just really quick do that. And there we go, we are back and we did it. It's wonderful. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? Great. I have everything under control, so please, have a seat. You have everything under control. You know I saw some things back there. Go sit in the pilot seat. Things that aren't good. Like, shit. The wow. You're literally talking to me. I don't want to take the picture. Well, with the most expensive camera in the world. Oh. You no. Know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I just realized I'm a little bit too calm right now. Okay, it worked, apparently. Oh, well. There must be something wrong. Wait, what? What was that? No, I it just Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the seat was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? What there can't the be two fuck? Simons. What did you think would happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in his fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? Yeah. Do you do that? It's the best no. fucking thing, girl. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd rather not stay plugged in any longer. I do that. I just set that up. Execute train battery. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna do that. I'm not gonna leave him here. This is just This is just no. No human being should to be exposed to this. All this. And he's just in this room. This one is locked. He could only go this way. Ah! This is... Ah! God damn it! And he's dead. Jesus fucking Christ. Let's get you out of here. I'm sorry, buddy. My god, I, I have nothing to say about this. I mean... She really wanted to make me stay alive, or him. Me? Him? Me. Fuck. But this is no life. You should be living. I mean, you have nowhere to go, nowhere to be, nothing to do. And then the wow is coming in. Killing you. More likely taking you over and you're just one of them again. Then. This is madness. Absolute fucking utter madness is this here. Which one should I go? This one here? Jesus fucking. Right. 
Time to go deep, huh? I don't like the lights flickering. Hey, buddy. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the climber, please. Sure thing. <laughs> She's a little bit. bummed out by all of this. Can you fuck off, please? What now, huh? Passengers... One. Stop. Descend. Yes, descend, please. Let's do this. Simon, I killed at Omicron. What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who called me an imposter? Wow. Oh, dude. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. I basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? <laughs> Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind? Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair, and the sun was setting, and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist's brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the ark, would it be any different? Still be alone. No friends. Scary. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have. Shit. Catherine. Cat. I felt that. Hello, Catherine. What happened? Power. Huh? Come on. Okay. Hey, I know it's 
not much, but why are we stopped moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comfort. Should. It will hold. Does, does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Mm. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. It's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler <laughs> stuck in a body made from black goo. Thanks. The worst. So, that blurring of my screen is probably just the pressure of the water. Hopefully. Oh, not again. This is something else. Kill me very soon. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good, not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Wait, the other you has been here. We're following in old footsteps, Cat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for town and find that arc. Well, that means I um, may be able to find. Oh, right. Come on. Might be able to find her here, huh? Oh, god, this blurry screen right now. It's just. Ugh. Makes me really. Oh my god, this is. Even worse than I thought. What was that? Was that just thunder? Holy crap, this is dark. Oh god. Acre log. Julia Dahl and Richard Holland, sample collection, physical shake-ups, check, I'm getting really hungry, time evacuation, failed, oh right, the tower ev evacuation they tried, then they came back, Catherine Shun and co. Bring the arc to Phi. Okay, that the Z is Z then, huh? Alan Waldeck, remote. Nothing. So the last guys getting down here were them. So Shun is down here somewhere. Seriously, this is 
strange. Tao? Come in, Tao. Please answer, Tao. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. That's what was it, Sean? That was Sean, wasn't it? Well! Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was it? I don't fucking know anymore. No, not quite. But I will be cutting off this episode right here. And in the next one we will find out what is in this fucking darkness back there. And what the fuck is moving there? Oh, Jesus! Jesus. This is very uncomfortable. Uh, probably something bad going to happen as soon as I step into the darkness. So, let's find out in the next episode. Goodbye.